talking about Gary. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, oh gosh, we we're talking about Gary. Just yeah, to tell tell our listeners and our viewers a little bit about Gary. Yes. Um, as I was reading the book uh, to come here for this interview, I really noticed how probably Gary, the story of Gary and um, his parents is probably the the major love story of Love Letters because there's this title, mm -hmm. Love Letters, and uh, there are many types of love and I was noticing for the first time in 12 years because I wrote that novel <laughs> 12 years ago um, that that is at least my favorite love story and indeed he is uh, the most vulnerable character because yeah. he has no defenses uh, whatsoever and he is uh, uh, the most poetic character and uh, the way he was brought into this world uh, was through a, a love story that then turns into tragedy and you can still wondering if that was love or not between uh, his parents. I am not gonna say who the parents were, uh, but um, uh, that is indeed uh, the most vulnerable character and maybe he represents the highest form of love because he is pure at heart and um, he has no defenses, no plans, no manipulations. He doesn't have that option because he is mental illness and his traumas and his history didn't allow him to build up any kind of uh, defense of um, scheming, survival scheming that we all have in our daily life, you know. Yeah. Um, and and whatever comes out uh, from his art is the highest and purest form of love. Um, and um, he is the creator of the envelopes of the love letters, but those envelopes do not contain love. The love of the letters, those envelopes are love and probably the highest love uh, the highest peak of love in love letters is with gary i think yeah. I, I just noticed that because you know you get distracted by virginia and the ladies and uh, all the characters and they, they all love they, they <laughs> in their are, own way yeah there are love letters everywhere uh, but gary is uh, the quintessential love while we're on the char the topic of all of these characters do you feel like your characters got what they deserved Yes, or I wouldn't, I, I couldn't have stopped writing. Um, you wonder once you stop writing, you get to an end, uh, what's gonna happen to those characters from now on? Uh, because you don't cure crazy. <laughs> and, um, and, and there's no judgment in that. I mean, honestly, as a writer, uh, there's a reason why I spend so much time with those characters is because I love them So it's not a judgment. It's you know, I'm, I'm the creator of those characters So if they are crazy, it's not a judgment toward them <laughs> for sure <laughs> uh, I, I love crazy. I love them, uh, but you wonder but yeah, they They did and it's very I'm sure that some readers uh, Would disagree with me because I cannot give away, but we know what happens to the movie star. So yeah. yeah, for some he would be the victim. So why? But anyways, yeah, uh, I I do I do feel they get what they deserve, and um, maybe beyond, maybe a little bit beyond. Or I'm thinking, uh, who maybe didn't get enough? Even Gary, because um, I mean I cannot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yes, or I, I would, I, now I, I'm wondering if I'm missing something, but then I know that I couldn't have stopped writing 
if I felt like someone is not getting what they deserve. So, yes. Um, was this writing this mentally taxing on you? And um, reading it was definitely difficult. There were some moments that were very hard to process. What is your um, method of releasing some of these dark characters, dark thoughts, dark situations? Yes. Uh, it was harder editing than writing. When I did the editing uh, recently, when I decided to publish it, and uh, some passages were very hard, and um, I had to spend time on them, and probably they, they, they still need some more editing. Um, although I'm done editing for now, someone else could uh, help me with more editing. Uh, but yeah, it was very hard editing them. It's more fun uh, when you're writing because it's very dark, but you're also releasing all the darkness that you have accumulated in your life um, at the personal level or at the collective level. That, uh, so uh, it's very hard writing them, but at least you have a release. Uh, even if it's shocking, it's shocking release because sometimes it's like, did I really